Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. I'm your lovely host, Galvin. And slowly but surely, we continue to uh, gather up tech points, aiming for Majesty 5 to get Imperial Administration. And uh, trying to get more monastic schools. Unfortunately, tech spread is, well, as slow as it, you expect it to be. But we're working on it slowly. Man, Greece... I honestly thought Greece would be something, you know? Like, early on, it really looked like Darachian was going to unify it. And then it just died. I mean, before I started interfering with it. Like, long before then. Oof. You mean he's not genius? Oh, dear. There will be a genius son somewhere down here, I'm sure. There better be. Alright, so among other things, we should consider changing succession laws in the Imperial Laws of Syria. Yeah. Question is which one to go for. We're never going to get above low crown authority, so it might just be best to go for elective. Of which, of course, we nominate him. Anything to prevent gavel kind. He is my new marshal. I have quite a talented council, I must say. Very good. You're working there. Studying technology. Well, it's best to just have you study technology no matter what, I suppose. <laughs> because that way, at least I get tech points occasionally. Yeah, there. Unfortunately, I was doubtful I would give me Majesty points. Never does. The other trick is I have to work with Majesty 2 as quickly as possible. Hmm. Uh, try and get this up to 4. And the reason for that is because that will make it spread quicker. We want... Well, no, wait. It actually doesn't matter if Majesty uh, spreads, I suppose. No, no, it doesn't. Church infrastructure uh, 4 is what I really need to aim for, then. Because that'll cause church infrastructure to spread faster so we can get more monastic schools. Hey, Quotara was successful. Glad to hear it. I have no idea where I actually sent you. Oh, yeah. Do something about those damn Muslims. Huh, Jewish exile. One welcome here. Okay. I see. Very high eyes converted. Excellent. Really starting to nail these uh, damned heretics and heathens. Almost entirely religious unity. Unfortunately, though, we have lost uh, Greece entirely to the Orthodox now. I kind of saw that coming, though. The Quatarian Peasant Revolt. Didn't we literally just... I think it's a different culture. Really, though? Ugh. I still am trying to hold on on expansion to try and uh, get vice royalties together. And I'm also stocking up on money. I don't really want to overdo anything. Because there's going to be another civil war before all things come to pass. Whether or not it'll be with this character or not, I'm not certain. Has Oh shit, I need absolute crown authority? Oh, well, I need legalism 5 then. Good to know. That's... Wasn't actually uh, aware of that. Crud. I suppose, read the fine print. Alright, well, I suppose then I should, probably shouldn't be holding back as much as I am. Should probably, uh... Look at it further advancing things. Settlements, yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever. 
Also, I apparently... Oh, yeah, I lost the gavel kind of thing, didn't I? I suppose a bit of centralization doesn't hurt. <clears throat> Kingdom Vice Royalties are actually fine. They're a good place to start, anyway. Let's get them together. There. I don't really need the vassal limit, anyway. So, how does one grant a vice royalty? Okay, I should probably check someone who can I can actually freaking grant. Okay, grant vice royalty. So I could grant you Jerusalem. Lower all feudal duke and king subjects' opinion of you by two. That's fine. Hmm. Really? That won't be granted? That won't be granted, which is odd. But this will be? Hmm, <clears throat> that's fine, I suppose. I should get rid of these two, though. They are the more problematic ones. And I finally remembered to enable the, whatever the hell it's called. Mod that allows me to have more than 10% friggin' churches. I get the point, I don't abuse it anymore. But, it's annoying. Alright, transfer vassal. No wait, I don't want to transfer vassalage to you, I want to transfer you under somebody. Count of Gize. Quatara. Unfortunately, I don't think... Oh, man, does have that. Interesting. Either way. There. Okay, you're under the Hammer's Liege. You guys apparently stay with me, though. Interesting. Cool. So that's a vice royalty. And vice royalty. Immediately goes back to liege. First thing you do is declare a war. Yeah, alright, whatever. Oops. Good th good stuff. <clears throat> you got a lot of potential with vice royalties. The hell's going on? Uh, apparently you just got called to arms. Interesting. Hmm. Legalism at least seven. Okay. So more things actually appear on the law list as you advance legalism. Like, it used to just be up to, uh, large for some of those things. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, that's cool. We're learning. That's what's important. Alright, so half the realms decide to go and attack them, which is fine. <laughs> In the meantime, how is the Zoroastrians doing? Have you guys actually managed to get some kind of nation state going here? Just Tabaristan? Yeah, not looking good for you, huh? I mean, I feel like just taking Tabriz. Sure thing. You're like fifth in line anyway. So it works out. But yeah. Allow the duel, of course. Wait. Hey. Ooh, improved enough technology. Church and structure. Very important that we get that. I talked about that already. It means that things spread quicker, which means more tech points. Well, hopefully. It requires church infrastructure. Level three. Me, 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 me. Stupid raiders. 
Alright, <clears throat> so, some other things we're going to be taking is Edessa, which I'm going to put into the hands of the Syrian uh, Vice Royalty. Who will probably end up being this guy, I suppose? I'm glad. Actually, no, Aleppo probably makes sense as the Vice Royalty. But you're allied. Okay, yeah, you would be a very bad Vice Royalty. That's how you end up in Civil Wars. Ooh, become charitable. I like it. Oh, it's already charitable. Oh well, whatever. Cultural war for Edessa. Holy war. Sup? Conscript merchant ships. Ah yes, I never own Cyprus, so I can do that. That might come in handy at some point. <laughs> I don't know about that, but we'll see. In addition to this... I don't even know how the hell you're independent. Bloody impressive that you are, though. Also, 1,000... How the hell do you get so many troops? Ah, oh, well, whatever. God, you're just dueling everybody. <coughs> you should stop doing that. Bad for your health. Alright. Ooh, 28th. Okay. There we are. We have 3,000 troops. Whom I can simply send over here with preferably decent generals. An elusive shadow. Not great. What do I do about this? Answer is I intervene. And just kill them. One fell swoop and all that. Sucks that our siege progress on Odessa's gone, but whatever. Eh, screw it, let's go. It's actually a surprising amount of support for them. I suppose I uh, underestimated the amount in which, you know, the Maya Fizites exist here. Okay, now it's a town. That'll fall in no time. Heavy casualties, though. Heavy as fuck. Holy crap. No. Not interested. However, you... I plan to give you the Syrian Vice Royalty, actually. So how about I arrange a betrothal between you holds a claim to Damascus, so he's not my was she the daughter of me? I don't know. Any chance? Yeah, nah. Worth a try though. Alright, either way. Got that going for us now. Let's go smack their troops about. And you, I grant the landed title of Aintab. Good. Why didn't she appear before? Oh, apparently she's also betrothed to him. Oh, okay. There's well, I apparently allowed it, so... Unsurprisingly, you did that. That's fine. Save me the money. Holy hell. The Order of St. Anthony. Apparently, the Maifizites also... have a holy order. That I did not expect. Yeah, the Order of St. Anthony came around before I had uh, done my work. Or after I'd done my work. So they still technically belong to the Maya Fizites. For now, anyway. The Jonic Order has more provinces now? Why? You know what, never mind. Just, just, no, no, no. Don't ask questions. Questions like that make no sense. And are best left just completely unasked. You don't ask why the Chionic Order owns London. 